Good afternoon, Race Project. This is Stacy. How may I help you? A registered nurse, a wife, a mother, an addict. It blocked pain, emotional pain. Stacy Longarini's third child was premature. She wasn't sure he would even make it. After her C-section, she says her doctor overprescribed her Percocet, a combination of acetaminophen and oxycodone. She was given as many as 60 pills. It initially started out taking one to two, but then my tolerance grew. She then used her connections as a nurse to start calling in her own prescriptions. See, I knew that I could possibly be arrested, but the compulsion to use, the obsession and compulsion to use is so strong. She eventually got caught and served several years in state prison. No longer a nurse, no longer a wife, and no longer a mother. As a direct result of my addiction, um, I lost my marriage. Um, you know, I abandoned my three children. And after prison, her situation only got worse. She was looking for something cheaper, more accessible, and something that wouldn't get her in as much legal trouble. She switched from prescription drugs to heroin. If I get arrested for calling in a prescription, that's a felony. If you get arrested for possession of heroin, that's usually a misdemeanor. We'll tell you about her battle to fight that addiction later this week. Either I was going to die or I was going to really make a stand and live. And I chose to live. Caitlin Smith, News 8. This is only the beginning of our state of addiction coverage. It continues this week and through the rest of the year. Tomorrow morning, News 8's Jerry Gish takes a look at why so many people are becoming addicted.